Emmanuel is a Hebrew name which appears in chapters 7 and 8 of the book of Isaiah as part of a prophecy of God's protection from rival kings during the life of Jeshurun. He is wound into the book, among descriptions of historical events and the future. In Judaism the name A is not applied to the Messiah, as is done in Christianity. The Isaiah passage and the name Emmanuel are cited in the Gospel of Matthew and applied to the virgin conception and birth of Jesus as the Messiah. Isaiah 7 a Euro 8. Equals summary equals, the setting is the Syro-Ephraimite War, 734 BCE, which saw the Kingdom of Judah pitted against two northern neighbors, Kingdom of Israel and Syria. Isaiah 7 1 a Euro 2 tells how the kings of Ephraim and Syria attack Jerusalem when Ahaz refuses to join them in their anti-Assyrian alliance. Ahaz wishes to ask Assyria for help, but Isaiah, at God's command, takes his son Shear Jashub and assures Ahaz that the two enemy kings will not succeed. Isaiah tells Ahaz of the apparent sign by which he will know that this is a true prophecy, a young woman will give birth to a child whom she will name Emmanuel, and the lands of the enemy will be laid waste before the child is old enough to reject the wrong and choose the right. Isaiah 7:17 follows with a further prophecy that at some unspecified future date God will call up Assyria against Judah, the Lord will cause to come upon you and your people and your ancestral house such days as have not been seen since Ephraim broke away from Judah ha Euro the king of Assyria. Verses 18 a Euro 25 describe the desolation that will result, in that day a man will save alive a young cow and two shall eat a Euro in that day every place where there used to be a thousand vineys a Euro will be turned over to thorns and briars. Isaiah 8 1 a Euro 15 continues the previous chapter. The prophet tells of the birth of another child, his own son named Mehashalohashbaz, then predicts that after Ephraim and Syria are destroyed the Assyrians will come like a river in flood to cover the breadth of your land, Emmanuel. Equals interpretation equals, Isaiah 7 1 a Euro 8 15, although set in the time of King Ahaz, apparently dates from the reign of Ahaz's son Hezekiah some thirty years later and its purpose was to persuade Hezekiah not to join with other kings who intended to rebel against their joint overlord, Assyria. Isaiah points to the dreadful consequences that followed for Judah's northern neighbors, the Kingdom of Israel and Aram Damascus when they rebelled in the days of Ahaz and brought the Assyrians down on themselves. In the event, Hezekiah ignored Isaiah and joined the rebels, and the prophet's warning came true, the Assyrians ravaged Judah and Hezekiah barely escaped with his throne. A century later, in the time of Josiah, the prophecy was revised to present Ahaz as the faithless king who rejected God's promise of protection for Jerusalem and the house of David, with the result that God brought Assyria to devastate the land until a new and faithful king would arise. Isaiah 7 a Euro 8 mentions three children with symbolic names, Shear Jashub, meaning a remnant shall return. Emmanuel, God is with us. And Mehashalohash Baz, the spoil speeds, the prey hastens. Isaiah 8:18 informs the reader that Isaiah and his children are signs. The meaning of these name signs is not clear, Sheer Jashub has been variously interpreted to mean that only a remnant of Ephraim and Syria will survive the Assyrian invasion, or that a remnant of Judah will repent and turn to God, while in Isaiah 10:20 a Euro 23 it seems to mean that a remnant of Israel will return to the Davidic monarchy. Mehashalohashbaz is more clearly related to the expected destruction of Ephraim and Syria. As for Emmanuel, God is with us, Isaiah might mean simply that any young pregnant woman in 734 BCE would be able to name her child God is with us by the time he is born. But if a specific child is meant, then it might be a son of Ahaz, possibly his successor Hezekiah. Or, since the other symbolic children are Isaiah's, Emmanuel might be the prophet's own son. However this may be, the significance of the sign changes, from Isaiah 7, where Emmanuel symbolizes the hope of imminent defeat for Syria and Ephraim, to Isaiah 8 8, where Emmanuel is addressed as the people whose land is about to be overrun by the Assyrians. Matthew 1 a Euro 23, the Gospel of Matthew cites the prophecy of the sign of Emmanuel from Isaiah, using a Greek translation rather than the original Hebrew. Matthew begins with a genealogy of Jesus from Abraham through David to Joseph, with Jesus as the son of David, a member of the house of David to whom the sign of Emmanuel was given. 
Matthew 1.16 indicates that Jesus is not Joseph's natural son, and Matthew never refers to Joseph as Jesus's father. Verses 1.18 a Euro 25 turn to Mary, the future mother of Jesus, betrothed to Joseph, but found with child of the Holy Ghost before she and Joseph came together. Joseph was about to break the engagement, but an angel appeared to him in a dream and told him of the child's divine origin, and Matthew 1 22 a Euro 23 declares how this was the fulfillment of Scripture, 22 Now all this was done, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, 23 Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is, God with us. The Gospel of Matthew was written by Matthew, a Jew, and one of the twelve disciples of Jesus Christ, and who believed that Jesus was the promised Messiah, God with us. At first, titles such as Messiah, and Son of God had described Jesus's future nature at the Deuter of Pharousia, the Second Coming. But very soon he came to be recognized as having become the Son of God at the Resurrection. Then, in Mark, he becomes Son of God at his baptism. And finally Matthew and Luke had infancy narratives in which Jesus is the Son of God from the very beginning, conceived of a virgin mother without a human father. See also, Isaiah 7:14, list of names referring to El, list of synagogues named Emmanuel. References Bibliography, Barker, Margaret. Isaiah. In Dunn, James D. G. Rogerson, John. Edman's Commentary on the Bible. Edmans. Blomkinsop, Joseph. A History of Prophecy in Israel. Westminster John Knox Press. Brown, Raymond E. Fitzmuir, Joseph A. Donfred, Carl Paul. Gospel of Matthew. Mary in the New Testament. Paulist Press. Burkitt, Delbert. An Introduction to the New Testament and the Origins of Christianity. Cambridge University Press. ISBN 978-0521007207. Childs, with a des Isaiah. Westminster John Knox Press. Coogan, Michael D. Isaiah. In Coogan, Michael D. Brettler, Marcus Vi. Nisom, Carol Ann. New Oxford Annotated Bible. Oxford University Press. Dueling, Dennis C. The Gospel of Matthew. In Arn, David E. The Blackwell Companion to the New Testament. Wiley Blackwell. Ehrman, Bart D. Jesus, Apocalyptic Prophet of the New Millennium. Oxford University Press. Finley, Timothy D. The Birth Report Genre in the Hebrew Bible. Moussi Ebeck. France, R.T. The Gospel of Matthew. Edmans. Keener, Craig S.A. Commentary on the Gospel of Matthew. Edmans. Lua, William P. The College Student's Introduction to Christology. Liturgical Press. Rhodes, Ron. The Complete Guide to Bible Translations. Harvest House Publishers. Solderini, Anthony J. Matthew. In Dunn, James D. G. Rogerson, John. Edmans Commentary on the Bible. Edmans. Sweeney, Marvin A. Isaiah 1 Euro 39, with an introduction to prophetic literature. Edmans. Sweeney, Marvin A. King Josiah of Judah, the Lost Messiah of Israel. Oxford University Press. Tremel, Robert. The Four Gospels. Xlit Corporation. White, L. Michael. Scripting Jesus, the Gospels in Rewrite. HarperCollins.